Hey guys, this is Ambi from androgchance.com and in this video I will share uh, AI college predictions for this week, uh, week 3. Uh, last week uh, AI predictions went 7-4 and overall 13-12, uh, okay? Um, I talk about this, uh, what I'm doing and I'm still working on some details and I think uh, this can be made in a spreadsheet. Uh, and uh, I will probably share this with my members in the course in next weeks, okay? I still need to work on the details. Uh, I'm still not fully satisfied with uh, how AI uh, generated this, uh, but it gives me a couple of ideas, uh, and I think we can use simple betting model to find uh, some uh, value bets based on, based on statistics, based on uh, the numbers we have, and I think uh, it can be a useful tool, okay? I, I still don't want to uh, promise anything, but I believe that uh, uh, after, uh, so we are now in third week, uh, after, let's say, fourth, fifth week, uh, I might uh, release this in my betting course uh, for, for members so they can use in next years. Because uh, honestly, there is a lot of work. Uh, so uh, how many games we have, I didn't even count anymore, but... Uh, this is how 30, 40, 50 games, uh, 30, 35 games, I don't know, uh, each week in uh, college football. Uh, I analyzed every single game, so I give it to AI and he predicted the score uh, and then uh, uh, it's, it predicts the score. And then I compare with bookmakers lines, with pinnacle lines. Uh, and then if there is enough discrepancy, so right now I'm looking for seven point difference and I'm not focusing on totals. Uh, so when you will get my spreadsheet, uh, you can also play with the totals. Uh, so I also track uh, only uh, win losses uh, for simplicity because there is a lot of work and then we'll see how this can be improved. Okay. But before I go with projections and uh, college football AI predictions, I want to talk about something else, okay? Uh, yesterday I saw uh, on Twitter a discussion and uh, uh, about that Roger Stink and uh, uh, cancelled bets uh, because he because of injured players. And uh, one uh, sports better, which I respect, uh, he said something like that: uh, people who ask refund because of an injured player. Uh, they should start uh, be responsible adults. Uh, he used much uh, harsh words like uh, scumbags and something like that. Uh, and I am on his side, okay? Uh, I, I'm not talking about the words he uh, used, but I'm on his side. Uh, and I, I will give you my view on sports betting. And this is something I still uh, battle with my own reactions to people who play victims. Uh, I cannot stand people uh, who are lazy, who are uh, playing a victim all the time, who are followers, who are observers, uh, who don't take any actions. I simply cannot relate to these people. And I simply, in my personal life, I move away from those people, okay? Uh, because, first of all, sports betting is a game, okay? It is a high-risk game. And it is a game for adults. And if anyone cannot take full responsibility for this game, he cannot play this game, okay? Because I don't know into what this world uh, went, because when I was younger and how I was raised, uh, my father went to a war, uh, my grandfather died in a second uh, uh, world war. Uh, our ancestors, they, they went to a war, they took full responsibility for every single action. And when I was younger, when I was a teen, I made one stupid mistake. And my father told me, uh, I love you. Uh, I will stand with you, but I will not uh, hide you. And you will need to take full responsibility for your action. Even if you will go into jail, we will visit you to a jail, but uh, you will need to take full responsibility. And that's how it is. And I cannot stand people who don't take responsibility. Because once you decide to play sports betting, uh, it is a free choice. So nobody is forced to play sports betting. And when you start betting, sports betting, uh, you need to understand what this game is all about. You need to read terms and conditions of sports book. You can, we cannot even imagine 
how hard it is to run a sports book. Of course, we try to take part of the money from sports book, okay? Uh, but to build a sports book, to run a sports book and decide, okay, today I will run a sports book. You, we don't, I, I cannot even imagine what kind of balls and uh, uh, you need to have to run such business. And then you need to deal every day with millions of so such losers, such uh, uh, weak mindset people who blame everyone. Uh, the other year, I don't know, two, three years ago, I saw a better or, or a gambler uh, who sent death threats to a baseball pitcher because he lost a bet because uh, this pitcher uh, uh, didn't pitch well. You can Google it. Uh, I can, we can find this in five minutes. Uh, who was this guy? So you, you simply Google uh, a gambler dead threats to baseball pitcher. And I can, I cannot even, it, it, can, it cannot, such things, it cannot go into my mind. I, can, I, 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 I don't understand such people. Uh, and I know this is my uh, problem because I cannot change the world. But I simply don't want to have people around me who are playing victims, who are blaming others for every, everything. You know, everything you do, every loss, every win, you need to take full responsibility. Even if this is, of course, the world is not fair. Uh, sometimes uh, people will scam you. I was scammed in the past too. Uh, I bought a ticket for a game. Uh, I paid 1,000 American dollars. I didn't uh, read terms and conditions. And then uh, I was scammed. But I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I, I simply took responsibility. I, I said, okay, it was my mistake. Uh, I didn't do research. So it, it is my mistake uh, and I will move on. And once you take full responsibility for your actions, then you have the power. And this is very important what I will say now. Business, investing, sports betting, even a war, those are male, masculine games. You cannot win these games if you don't take full responsibility for your actions, if you don't take any actions, if you're just crybaby, if, you ju if you're just observers, if you're just waiting for others, what will uh, they do? If you don't have any control of these high-risk games, those are games for men, those are not for crybabies, you cannot win these games. And when you bet... And if you blame the players, if you blame the sports books, if you blame uh, teams, uh, even handicappers, it is still your responsibility in the first place. You decided that you will play this game. Nobody forced you to play sports betting. You can sell ice cream. You can have a regular nine to five job. And a lot of people are happy with their life. Money is not the reason to be happy because there, there was a, a study uh, you need around, uh, uh, so the happiness will go up, uh, up to 70,000 American dollars per year. Above that, uh, the happiness is not correlated to, to the money. It, after that, it is only a game uh, of comparison against other people, right? So money, money will help you to have better life. Money will help you to uh, uh, have more freedom. And of course, this will lead you to happiness, right? Uh, this is completely true, but money alone will not make you happy. And a lot of people are very happy to have regular jobs, to have families and everything else. But if you decide to play business, if you decide to play sports betting, if you decide to play gambling, investing, uh, all kinds of those masculine games, you need to be strong in mentality and you need to take responsibility and take uh, necessary actions, and even if you lose, it is your responsibility. So if you go to a war, if you go to a battle, uh, you took this path. If you go, I don't know, on Saturday night and you pick a fight with some other guy, you pick a fight. You can always run. You can always go away. You can always... Okay, sometimes people will jump you. This is completely another story, but uh, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. It, once you decide to take power... Once you stop blaming uh, your government, your system, uh, your location when you were, where you were born, uh, your intelligence, everything, then you have, then you start having a power. And if you want to win these games like sports betting, investing, uh, business, war, you need to have power. I cannot stand people who always 
talk about peaks, blame others. Hey, where will be peaks? Uh, 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 I lost. I uh, uh, lost. Such people cannot win this game. You need to take full responsibility, full action. If you don't give 100% in, this, in these games, you cannot win. If you don't give 100% of your effort into sports betting, into business, into investing, into whatever you do, I don't know, if you play basketball, if you go to fitness, if you don't give 100% your, your effort, don't blame anyone else. First give 120% and then start asking if maybe world is unfair. Imagine you hire a, a, a gym trainer, a fitness trainer, and he will give you a, a program and everything else. And then you don't do, do uh, this task and then you blame him. Imagine you, you start betting and you don't invest any time. You don't learn how to bet. You don't do everything that you that is possible uh, to done on your side and then you lose and then you blame sports books players teams everything and even if you do this you need to understand the mindset the strategy 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 the numbers everything else and all sports books have terms and conditions each sports book is different if you start betting with a sports book read terms and conditions you know Imagine you have a sports book. So you're a sports book owner and I'm not on their side, but imagine, but I respect them because I also run a business. I have created something. I have created betting malls. I run my own business. Uh, I, I also have created a book. So uh, I, I, uh, I have created another business and so on and, and so on. And I, when I was younger, I have created my first business when I was 23, 24 years old. I lost. I, I failed back then. But I know how hard it is to create something. Then we have people who are just observers. They they have a regular job and they don't do, they don't do anything else, right? They just observe and they wait for others so the others will do something for them, right? And I, I don't call them males. Those are females. This is a female uh, energy. And sports betting is a masculine man energy. War, business, investing, this is a masculine energy. If you cry, if you blame sports books, this is not masculine energy. How how do you think you will win in such game? In the, if in, in such in such games, how do you think you will win in such such games when you need to be a general, where, where you need to be a soldier, when you need to fight, when you need to work, when you need to do things, right? How do you think you will win this game? Do you think that people who scroll all days and blame others for everything, they will win? No, they will not win. Even if they make some small money, they will lose in their mind in the long run. And I cannot stand people who blame sports books. If the sports book has the terms and condition, and if this is not specified in the terms and condition, I don't know what is the discussion on, right? I, I don't even understand the discussion. If sports books say they can change the, the lines, they can limit you, they can do anything. If they have the terms in conditions, read the terms conditions. If you want to play this game, play this game, take the risk. If you don't play this game, sell ice cream. That's how it is. And this is the... the, the I, I worked a lot on myself in last years. And this is the only thing that I can still not stand. OK, uh, I I simply cannot stand this. And I was I was on a date with that girl, girl and she started blaming teachers, school system, healthcare system. And I knew from the start this is not going to and this is not going anywhere. I, I am a mentor to one uh, 19 year old guy. He's also blaming coaches because he didn't succeed at soccer. He's blaming teachers because they didn't love him because he is from immigrant background. And I cannot stand such people. I told him you need to change the mindset first because the world will not uh, change for you. You can only change and then the world will change. The world will never change for one individual. Sports books will never, sports books cannot. Uh, uh, please everyone. I cannot please everyone, right? So I can simply do my best. I can show you what I do. I can be transparent. I can do. I can be honest, and I can be open. So you know who I am. If you don't like it, go to other to other people. This is how I am. This is how I think. And some people will 
uh, find uh, myself as a mentor, they will relate to me and others will go away. And this is completely okay. Eight billion people, everyone can find his own way. But if you play the games like sports betting, you need to understand the rules of the game simply as that. I, I simply... Uh, I, I also have email uh, uh, email list, right? And I uh, send uh, emails and so on. And when I receive emails like, uh, well, this helped me. I, I cannot do this. I, da, 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 da. I simply block them, okay? I always help people who always give 100% first and then they come to me and I always, I'm always open for a call, for a help. And those people who know me, they know that I always help. If you do, if you put 100% of your effort and if you uh, have a genuine interest and if you're motivated, I will always help to those people. But those people, and I'm 43 years old now. I, I went through many things in my life. And I know from the start who are people who talk bullshit and who just want something for free and they are followers, observers, lazy people. They just want some peaks, tips. I know them from, from the start. I know exactly who reads anything, who who done the job, who went through all the things uh, in sports betting, in life. I know exactly. It is much better, to be honest, to say how it is, uh, we 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 struggle with different things in our life some people struggle with math math problems with uh, uh sports betting uh, they don't know how to build the sports betting models some people struggle with mindset they they, they are intelligent uh, some people uh, are scared uh, we all have different problems but as i said in my previous videos a couple of times if you have two guys one has a good mindset and uh, doesn't have math knowledge he will win in sports betting. On the other side, you have intelligent people uh, with good IQ, with good math knowledge, but he's blaming others. He's blaming, playing victim. He's, uh, uh, he's lazy. Uh, he uh, doesn't want to do anything. Um, he just uh, observe. He just follow. He just wait for others to make the things happen. And he will lose no matter of his IQ. I will always bet on an average person with a good mindset, with no victim mentality over a highly intelligent person uh, with victim mentality. And when I see those people who blame others uh, for their losses, who, who forced you to play sports betting? Sports betting is not for everyone. Sports betting is for us. Who can play this game? Uh, we will take responsibility. We will take losses. We will take wins and we will move on. We will not blame. I will not blame my father. I will not blame a sports handicapper. I will not blame a sports boot. I, I will not blame uh, uh, teams. I will not blame players because it was my decision. When I was 18, 19 years old, it was my decisions. I decided that I will play betting i could sell ice cream i could dance i could take a school maybe i would have a work maybe i would i don't know the the life would be different but it was my decision it was my decision and when i say it is my decision i don't blame anyone i take my power and when i have the power i can only make something out of my life and out of sports betting Okay, and all victims, all victims, you all you can all unsubscribe. So this is the only thing I cannot stand. I can. This is the only thing I cannot stand uh, from people playing victims, being lazy, being followers, always uh, waiting for others, observers. This is something I cannot stand. I cannot stand. This is something I, 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 I cannot my, myself. I was working on my traumas. I, I talked to psychiat psychiatrists. I simply cannot stand people who are playing victims. Sports betting is a masculine game. You cannot be with me if you are victim. Maybe you can, you, and here's the thing. You can have the best betting system. You can have the best betting model. You can, you, you can be the most intelligent person in the world. You can have the best betting model, everything, the best, the best, the best. And you can still lose in sports betting. This is the risk we are taking. If you cannot take this risk, then you cannot play this game.
From now on, I know that I can lose everything. In sports betting, in business, everything. But this is life. We take this risk. And I will not blame others for this because I took this risk path. Because I took this risk path, I also take rewards. This is why I have freedom. This is why uh, I don't have nine to five job. This is why I can spend uh, uh, months on islands. Uh, this is why I can spend much more time with my daughter, with my with my dog, with my friends. I go to parties. I, I have great life. This is why, but because I took a risk. But on the other side, I also know that if I take a risk, it can also turn around. And even if I do everything completely right, things can change. But if this happens, I will not blame my father because he didn't direct me in my life. I, I will not blame sports books because they offered bad odds. I, I will not blame a betting book because I don't know who, nobody cares. And once you take the responsibility for your actions and for your life and for sports betting, only then success can happen. You cannot win sports betting, business investing, and those masculine games without taking full responsibility. And I'm talking full, 100%. The only thing we don't control is a birth. When we, when, when we were uh, born and where. And then when you are born, you get the cards. Those are your cards. And then you play the cards. It is up to you. If you blame why I have such cards in my life, why I didn't, I, why I wasn't born, uh, born uh, healthier, bigger, nicer, uh, richer. I was born in. I, I can I, I can say in a not poor family, but I, I was not born in a rich family and blue collar family. Uh, nobody talk about business investing anything. So everything I learned, I learned on my. Own. And I never blame my father, mother for anything or anyone else. There were things that were unfair to me in my life. Also, sometimes I got bad grades when uh, I, I was in a school um, and I don't blame the teachers. This is how it is. Sometimes you get, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But the mindset, when you say that you have full responsibility for everything, it changes everything, everything, everything. When I see people crying about their losses and sports books and they should refund them their money, even if there is in terms and conditions, everything is clearly explained. I don't, I, I, I simply don't understand this. I simply don't understand this. I, I simply don't, I, everyone has its own reality. Okay. And in, when I was younger, I was drinking alcohol. I, I was betting. Uh, I lost my first business. I lost uh, a lot of money uh, because bad decisions in the past. Uh, so I lost two bankrolls in the past when I was younger too. But I didn't blame anyone, right? And I also had another friends back then, another group of people around me, and they were always blaming someone else. It was usually about police. Police is bad. Uh, system is bad. And I was the same. And then I started changing myself. Okay. So I, I started changing something in myself. So I, 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 I simply go, I, I simply went away from these people. Okay. I simply went away from these people because although I never, I never played a, a victim role, but once you're with people who always talk about others, about blaming others, of course, you also start thinking like this and I, I had to go away from, from these people. And in last, let's say, I don't know, 10 years, I only have people who take full responsibility for their life. So full responsibility for their life. So I'm divorced uh, and I, I simply took my full responsibility. I, I, I don't blame my ex-partner. Uh, it was my full responsibility. I, I decided to be with her. So... Nobody forced me to be with her, okay? So whatever she did, I saw her actions. It was my decision when to go out of relationship. Uh, everything is my, my responsibility. And even this, if I do sports betting, if I, I don't know, lose, if I get bad messages, I know it is my responsibility. 
I can be emotional, everything is fine, but at the end of the day, when you go to sleep, it is your responsibility and it is something we need to take uh, ac accountability. We need to act like adults. We need to, at some point of our lives, we need to take responsibility and act like adults. And like this uh, sports better on Twitter said, uh, yes, people should start acting like adults. Sports betting is a game for adults. If you cannot take the risks, if you cannot take the losses, wins, everything, then this is not game for you, okay? This is how it is. And don't say that I didn't tell you, okay? Uh, so let's go to today's projections. Uh, and uh, we have a couple of qualified bets based on uh, based on uh, the AI. So I hope that nobody blindly follow me. Uh, so some people will jump on this video for the first time. They will see the projections and they will blindly follow this. They don't even know what I'm doing with these projections, who I am, uh, what were my results this year, how I live. Uh, because, you know, people constantly ask me, hey, what is your results? How, what are your bets? Uh, I escaped 9 to 5 10 years ago, 12 years ago. I don't need to bet anymore. Since 2015, when I since I run my website, I I saw so many handicappers who sell picks and they were pretty bad, right? They they don't have any knowledge about uh, sports betting. Uh, you, you can see those guys. They have in their names locks, money. Um, I don't know wins, uh, guaranteed wells. I don't know what kind of those things. And then I decided that. I will run a website and I will try to help sports bettors to do the same. So I already escaped nine to five. I already had a success in sports betting before I launched my website. So I don't need to bet anymore. I don't need to share any pics. But since I know that I had to show uh, transparency, I started sharing my analysis, my spreadsheets, my models, my results, and I shared everything. And my goal is not to sell picks or some. I constantly receive emails about picks. I, I I don't I don't want to talk about picks. If I if I would talk about picks, I would run a betting service. I would run a betting service. I would sell picks and then I would hire people, customer service, and deal with these gamblers, right? See, I I I am free for twelve. I don't know twelve years. I don't I don't have a job. This is my only job. And and I simply share this to show you what is possible and how I do it. And my goal is to show people how they can do it. And with the mindset, with everything else. Okay. And I see people who are lazy. They don't make projections. They don't make any picks. They don't make any bets. They, they are not willing to, to use any effort to become actual sports bettors. And then they ask me, to share them picks. I don't need to share picks. You are the one who needs picks if you if you need or bets. I don't need this, right? I already did. I can I can close this now. I can close the site and I'm completely okay. I don't need to bet anymore. I don't need to bet anymore. I don't know what people don't understand. I'm here to help people so they can do the same like I did. So I don't just I don't show you a theory. I did this. And People who want, I can help them. And those who want just picks and tips, there is hundreds of whale picks, money picks, money wins picks, and I don't know what kind of crazy names. They sell picks. Go to them. So in, in the morning, he's working in a restaurant, and in, uh, after that, he's selling picks. You can, you can hire this. I'm not here as a service. Okay. I show you my way and I say this, I, I say this and I say this in this way because I don't need to bet anymore, okay? I don't need to bet anymore. If you want to work with me, if you want to mind, then this is the mindset, this is the, the actions and tho those are the people who I relate and I will help this small percentage of those people and this is how it is and I can simply not stand people in sports betting world which is illegal in many countries so you decide to play an illegal game illegal game it is not even legal in many countries you decide 
to play this game and then you play a victim. Who is crazy here? So you decide to play a, a game which is illegal in many countries and then you and then, and then you cry like a baby. It's like uh, playing a mafia or criminal uh, selling drugs and then you then you cry because they shot you. No, this is the game. If you decide to play a mafia gangster, uh, if you decide to play a game of selling drugs or being in a gang, the risk is that you will be shot. And this is the game. Take the risks, take the money, but this is the game. Same in sports betting. If you if you want to run a business, uh, you will uh, you will run a business, but it can happen that, that you lose a business. The market will change, the industry will change, uh, something new will happen. This is the game. Don't cry because nobody forces you to play. You can be a teacher in a uh, school or, I don't know, you can play any game you want in life. My father was a teacher. My mother was uh, uh, my my mother was working uh, in a factory and they loved it, each other whole life. Uh, I lost my mother in 2017. My father is still uh, alive. Uh, but they were loving each other. We have a great happy family. Uh, of course, we have also our own problems. But this is a beautiful life. I spend a lot of time in nature. Uh, I could... This I could took this path too. My first idea was to be uh, a geography teacher. This was my initial idea when I was, I don't know, 15, 16 years, 14, 15 years old. Because my father always told me, uh, be a teacher, you will have a good salary, you will have free time. Uh, also in the summer, you will have uh, more time free. Uh, this is a good life. And yes, it is a good life. But we all decide to play this high-risk game. So no matter what you decide, if you decide to play a bungee jumping game, you need to take the risk that it can happen that you die. Every, I don't know why people don't. I, I simply, I simply, I simply cannot understand this. I simply cannot understand this. Okay, let's go to projections and picks. The first game, Navy against Memphis. So those are my, not my, but from AI generated model projections. Uh, and also bookmakers lines, uh, pinnacle lines, right? Uh, for simplicity reasons, because uh, I work on many uh, different projects, uh, I track the record win loss and I took minus 107. Okay, maybe I will go through all the lines. It would be much better if I could track also closing line value, but uh, this takes a lot of time. So First, I will see um, what are the projections. So I compare with pinnacle lines. What are the differences? Uh, how we can improve and, and and so on. And a lot of people uh, ask me, I don't know about the betting models and about everything uh, which will lead to success. But what they don't understand is that I started betting in 1998. So this is 25 years ago, right? And before I created one betting model or one system that works and uh, which brings me the money in the, in, in the future. It wasn't like, I don't know, in one week and then I simply made a lot of money. It was usually a lot of sleepless nights, uh, years and years of strategy, different things, uh, losses, wins, failures, trials and errors. And this is something people don't understand. Um, I remember this. Uh, story from Pablo Picasso. He was sitting in a restaurant and then one lady came to him and she asked him if he he can draw he can draw her something on a napkin. And he said, yes, of course. He drove some, I don't know, a couple of uh, lines and he said, I don't know, 10,000 American dollars. And she said, 10,000 American dollars for 15 seconds work, work. And he said, uh, yes, but to be able to draw this in 15 seconds, Seconds, I had to spend 20 years of work. And this is something a lot of people don't understand, right? So success is not just what people show in five minutes. It is usually years and years of hard work and a lot of time invested. And if you want to share this with people and help them to become the same, somebody needs to pay for your time because... Some other people were uh, playing PlayStation, watching games, having fun, while I was sitting in a night, uh, 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 whole nights, typing things, uh, checking these numbers, uh, 
making mistakes and I sometimes I went crazy because it didn't work. And this is something people don't understand. Some other person was sleeping at home and every business, no matter what kind of businesses, people simply, people who never created anything in their life, they, they, they just have the regular life, which is completely okay. But they simply don't understand the risk, time and effort that is needed to do something. Right. And those people who never did anything uh, which is worked or on the market, they always blame others. So I would say first take responsibility, create something and then start blaming others. OK, although we all fight against bookmakers, they are still businesses. Somebody needs to take the risk. You don't have we have no idea what kind of balls and risk they need to take in order to run a business like this and then dealing every day with those crazy gamblers. I, 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 I couldn't do it. I could sell sports picks, but for my piece of my life, and I could do a lot of money, I could do a lot of money with selling sports picks. Even, even uh, in the first, second uh, year when I started with uh, my website, I received many messages. Uh, okay, this is too much. I don't want to learn. Uh, could you sell picks? And I said, this is not going to work and I will not sell picks. This is the first reason. The second reason, if I sell picks, then I need to deal with losing gamblers who will send me messages after every single losing week or single month, uh, losing month. And losing months, losing weeks will happen. And if you bet 25 years, you will have a negative year. And then you need to deal with those people. I don't know. Some people want to do this. And I simply didn't take this. So I take responsibility. This is not the game for me. I will simply try to help people who can, who wants to do the same, right? So the same, the, my way, my way of thinking, my way of numbers, my way of analysis, my way of... Uh, looking at the world and I can help those people. So I, I simply cons consciously uh, uh, decided to take this path. Okay. Um, okay. Let's go to projections. Uh, so those are AI projections. I'm still working on it. Uh, and I hope we will have some good numbers. And I, as I said, after fourth, fifth week, I believe that we will have a little bit better numbers. I'm still working on one simple tiny thing which i cannot figure out but i will figure it out uh, i will not sleep five days and i will figure it out and then some people will tell me hey give me this give me this for free well this is not how things work right uh so virginia maryland uh my project not my but ai project minus 10 minus 14 so i'm looking for seven point difference between my ai projected numbers and bookmakers okay and if there is not uh, enough discrepancy, this is automatically not qualified. Army Yutsa, so this is University of San Antonio, I think. Uh, I don't know all the teams, uh, but I think it is San Antonio. Minus seven, minus nine. So those are my lines, bookmakers' lines. Utah State Air Force, uh, minus 6.8, minus 9.5. As you see, it is close. Georgia Southern Wisconsin minus 14.50 and this is minus 20. So maybe small value with Georgia Southern, it is 5.5 difference. Florida State, Boston College, uh, plus 22, plus 26. Uh, Wake Forest, minus 10, minus 13.5. Uh, Liberty Buffalo, uh, AI line, minus 3.5. I can round these numbers, okay? So... I will show you how you can do this if you use spreadsheet. So you simply type round and just type it like this, okay? But I will I will leave it as this, okay? Uh, so not enough value. Iowa State, Ohio, minus 4.4, .4, minus 3.5. So maybe, maybe oh, Iowa State, uh, Penn State, Illinois, minus 10, minus 14.5. Uh, Kent State, Minus 637, minus 4.5. So on the left side, my my AI line and uh, bookmakers line. LSU, Mississippi State, minus 3, minus 9, minus 3.78, minus uh, 9, maybe small value with Mississippi State. Uh, Massachusetts, this is the, the hardest word uh, to say because I, I come from Europe. English is not my first language. Uh, in school, I was learning German language. So before... 17 years 
oh no before 16 yes in the last two years of uh, my high school uh, then i uh, had english but before 15 years old i didn't use any english okay so i was uh, learning german language i speak also um, croatian serbian which is very similar to my language uh, but la only later i learned uh, english uh, and this is uh, this is why i speak so so i didn't have this in school and then when i went to college we also didn't have uh, english language uh, of course of course it was my responsibility to learn english because we also had to learn from english books so i didn't blame the school system uh on the college we we use english uh, i don't know books but uh, we don't have a class of english so who, nobody cares uh here is english book learn it and that's it this is how it is this is how the life is and when you look at life like this so you simply take the actions take responsibility and even if you, i understand the world is not fair sometimes you will be scammed i completely understand but it will not help you if you play a victim I hope we all agree with this. Nothing will help you if play, you play a victim. Of course, sometimes something is not fair. But at the end of the day, what is fair? What is fair? Who decides what is fair? Government, God, me, you, who, who decides what is fair? So there's no, you know, it is only a game of life. You have the cards and you play the game of life. It is only sports betting. You have the cards, you have your own IQ, you have your money, financial situation, you have uh, your mindset, you have your betting system, betting mall, if you have one, and you play the game. And those are the things you control. If you don't have anything in your control, if you just wait for your sports handicapper, then your control is zero. You don't have any control. Then don't blame any anyone, right? Uh, if, you don't, if you cannot control anything, you don't have any power. Simply don't blame anyone. Uh, Central Michigan, Notre Dame, uh, minus 29, minus 34. Virginia Tech, Ru 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 Rutgers, Rutgers, I don't know, minus 1.5, minus 7. Uh, <clears throat> small value with Virginia Tech. Uh, Florida International, Connecticut, minus 6, minus 8. Alabama, minus 27.8, minus 32. East Carolina, Appalachian State, minus 2.84, minus 9. Uh, so the model favors a little bit underdogs, uh, but it filtered out those underdogs that the discrepancy is is much bigger, right? Northwestern Duke minus twenty three point thirteen. It is almost a qualified bet with Duke, uh, but still not good enough. Western Michigan uh, plus twenty eight. This is for qualified bet based on AI this week. Uh, because AI projected uh, the result of 28 and 8. So this is 29.9, right, result. Uh, it is around 37 points. Uh, and uh, if we turn this into the spreads, it is minus 28, 28, right? So it is 20 plus 28. It is a qualified uh, pick. Uh, I don't say bet because I'm still testing this betting model. I share this journey with you. Uh, it is a peak Western Michigan plus 28. San Diego State, Oregon State, uh, minus 18.42, minus 24.5. Okay, uh, this is also not qualified. One more thing about playing a victim from different countries. And I know this, this will, a lot of people see this differently. But the world, the world is small village right now. Okay, with the internet, you have access to all the people to all the markets okay i know it is hard okay we have all different situations but there is a chance because no matter if you live in a poor country if you have the internet then you can get the skills and investing in your skills whether this is marketing copywriting photoshop design sports betting investing whatever the first step is investing in your skills. Find a mentor, invest money in books, invest money in seminars, in the courses. You will see how successful people think, what they do, and then you need to change and you need to get the skills. Once you have the skills, you can sell these skills to rich people, to people who have money. Okay? People ask me why I don't uh, share TikToks anymore at this moment because 
For example, TikTok is made based on location. If I would be in USA, I would share more TikToks videos. But when I saw analytics, 95% of people uh, were coming for from poor countries where either the betting is illegal or they don't have money to bet. They they have other problems in their country, so they should fix this first. And my invested time will not bring any ROI. Okay, uh, I cannot help those people because we are too far away. Because I. I work in sports betting. To, to bet on sports, you need to have money, right? I'm not teaching playing a guitar. So the first step, the, prob the first problem with sports betting is that you need to have money, right? And if you need to focus on the right market and the right target, the same is in sports betting. So when you bet small, if your bankroll is smaller, the good things you can use arbitrage betting uh, you can even use uh, comparing Pinnacle with soft uh, uh, soft lines like Odds Gem do. This is not betting skill. It is a hack, but for to do this, you need the app. But once your bankroll grows and once you start betting more, like I don't know, thousand American dollars per game and so on, then you will need to have a skill. Then you will need to start making your own betting decisions, your own bets, right? And you need to position yourself in a market, in a world, uh, no matter what you do. If you do business, if you do betting, whatever you do, right? You need to position yourself and you need to target sooner or later into the bigger markets, right? Your, your focus, if you want to make billions or millions, you need, to, you need to focus on the markets where you can actually make millions, right? You cannot sell, I don't know, bees or you cannot sell, you cannot bet on uh, second volleyball Swedish league where the limit is 50 American dollars and you expect that you will make millions. For, for a start is great, right? But in the long run, you cannot win. If you sell sports picks in, I don't know, in, uh, in Kenya or I don't know, in some country with smaller uh, income, uh, you cannot make money there because your hour in your time is worth, I don't know, 50 American dollars or 20 American dollars. This is how you can survive in your country because the expenses are so high, right? So you need to move this skill to the same country so where your time is uh, valuable for your money because if you work with people where one hour is worth one dollar, you will not survive. You cannot spend 10 hours and make only $10. You need to target the right markets. So no matter what you do in our life, this is how it is. So it is not only about sports betting, right? This is how it is, right? Simply, you need to invest the energy into the markets, into the things that can bring success, right? And if you don't do this, and if you know how this works, then it is again your responsibility that you didn't do this, although you know what you should do. Uh, and the same is sports betting. If you bet for 10 years and you don't have success, you have only two options. You either stop betting or you either decide to go all in 100%, do all your best, uh, learn everything, try to build your own system, betting modes, I don't know, everything. And if this still do doesn't work, then you stop betting, right? And but nobody is to blame, right? So you said, okay, I did everything. This is not for me. Okay, completely okay. I will stop betting because if I did everything possible, this is not for me. I will not bet. Or if I am not having any success, but honestly, if you watch games whole nights, if you play, I don't know, PlayStation all day, and then you blame sports betting, although you didn't put all the effort needed, uh, then, like Spanky said, then you're a scumbag. Of I, I, I don't use such words, so you're not a scumbag. But you need to, you need to think about this, right? You need to think about this. You cannot blame others if you don't put one hundred and twenty percent effort, and no matter what you do. So my my daughter right now, uh, she is she started uh, training volleyball. This is, I was looking for one sport where she can, 
she can have fun, which is great, and volleyball, especially when I saw this uh, in USA, it was 92,000 people watching volleyball game, right? It was amazing. So uh, I said, maybe we should try with volleyball. Of course, uh, she will decide later if this is for her or not. But when it comes to volleyball and uh, training the sport, I will expect that she first give 100% before she start blaming the coach, the everything, right? Always give 100%. If you don't give 100%, then this is, I don't know, you cannot expect su success. At least we should be honest to ourselves and say, okay, I didn't give 100%. I was lazy. I was not really motivated into sports betting, so I should not blame anyone. So it, it is still my mistake, right? So this is the mindset. So today I talk a lot about the mindset because I saw that tweet and those people who blame sportsbook and they want a refund. I I, I simply cannot. I, I simply cannot stand this. Of course, if in if in terms and conditions, uh, if this is stated that if the player is injured and they will get refund, this is completely okay, right? But many sportsbooks don't have this, right? So end of discussion. Uh, Oklahoma Tulsa, based on my projections, uh, Oklahoma should be plus 16, bookmakers plus 28, uh, uh, not Tulsa, and Tulsa plus 28 is another qualified bet based on AI. Uh, Ohio State minus 24, minus 28, uh, Louisiana, you, you can see my lines, bookmakers lines, uh, Tulane against Southern Mississippi, uh, small value with Tulane, almost a qualified bet, as you see. Uh, close to be qualified, but with uh, favorite, Washington, Michigan State, Washington minus 16.5. Uh, AI predicted they should be minus 23.74. So this is the projected result for this game. Georgia State, Georgia State, Charlotte, uh, Charlotte plus seven is qualified bet. South Alabama, Oklahoma State, not qualified. San Jose State, Toledo, not qualified. Tennessee, Florida, not qualified. And then we have Miami, Ohio, Cincinnati, Miami plus 14. Uh, North Texas, Louisiana Tech, uh, the same line. James Madison, Troy, also the same line. Northern Illinois, Nebraska, uh, basically the same line, uh, but small value with over. But as I said, I'm, I'm not focusing on totals in this one. So... I'm focusing only on spread. This is my focus. I will try to focus on the spreads. And uh, I am I try to improve a couple of things uh, in the model uh, before. Uh, and if it will not work, and if not, of course, I will not uh, release to the to the masterclass. But uh, I think we are going into the right direction. Uh, Vanderbilt, uh, uh, Nevada, Las Vegas, so UNLV plus four is qualified bet. They should be small favorite, not small underdog. Louisiana, UAB, uh, not qualified. Bowling Green, Michigan, Bowling Green plus 41. They should be smaller underdog based on these numbers. Uh, Ole, uh, uh, Georgia Tech, Ole Miss, no value. Pittsburgh, West Virginia, not qualified, maybe over. Akron, Kentucky, a Akron plus 26. Syracuse, Pure Purdue, I don't know how to pronounce this. Not qualified. Uh, BYU, Arkansas, not qualified. Maybe over. Uh, it is projected 62 points. Uh, and bookmakers have 47. Okay. Uh, Florida Atlantic, Clemson, not qualified. No, it is Florida Atlantic plus 24.5. Hawaii plus 38.5, Texas Christian, Houston, Houston plus 7.5, Colorado State uh, against Colorado, not qualified, Fresno State, Arizona State, not qualified, Kansas, Nevada, not qualified, those are the lines, UTEP, Arizona, not qualified, okay? Uh, so those are all my projections. I hope that some of these numbers uh, can be useful. Uh, I still need to work uh, on this one. Uh, so I'm not still fully satisfied. AI also made some mistakes, so I need to look at him uh, as a small kid, uh, as a small child, child uh, so he cannot make... Sometimes he messed something uh, with calculation, and then I ask, ask him, how did you do this? Previously, you did completely different, and then he said, I apologize, I will do this. So right now, I will try to find the way 
with his help so we can incorporate into the spreadsheet so uh, if you own a spreadsheet then you have control over it right ai is great but uh maybe it is still too early because he still don't make the same calculation all the time sometimes he make a mistake and when we still outsource a calculation to someone else right when you own a spreadsheet this is a, the formulas everything is fixed right and this is something you completely control so not nothing can change right unless you scrape the data of course if you scrape the data from the internet and of course the sides will update the stats averages will change the numbers will change and these numbers will change in the spreadsheets as well so if you do projections in the morning and at night you do the same projections maybe this will change because on the website they change the numbers right uh but when you have the spreadsheet this is something you want you 100 percently control and whatever i do in my life i like to have the power i like to have the control so when i have control over my mind, over my actions, uh, about my betting knowledge, about my time, uh, everything, then I have the control. And the more control I have, the more power I have. The more power I have, the better I can play such games. And if you want to win such games like betting like this, you need to have power. You need to act like adult. You need to act like, I, I, I will not say soldier, but you need to take full responsibility for these games, right? Those are 18 plus games and those games are not for crybabies. Uh, okay, this video was a little bit different uh, and this is how I think. This is who I am. This is what helped me in my life and this is the reason why I am here right now, why I have the freedom, why why i can do whatever i want in my life this is why i'm happy with my daughter with everything i do and when i talk about how to win at sports betting and how can sports betting uh, betting be a benefit in your life it is not only about picks the picks are the last one it is also not about betting malls. it is about a full transformation so if he, it is the same if you want to run a business if you want to be successful like Elon Musk, it is not just, I don't know, the formulas he used for uh, Tesla or something like that. It is a complete mindset, how to deal with customers, how to deal with his own mindset, how to deal with challenges, how to deal with losses, how to deal with critics, how to deal with everything. Okay, and this is, this is the game we play. Of course, uh, people are, are beautiful. We are all different, right? Uh, and the life is in general beautiful because we live in the best time ever, okay? No matter what anyone say, we live in the best time ever. We all have phones, we all have cars, we all have roofs. Uh, I'm talking about the Western world. Of course, we have countries with a lot of challenges and this will also be solved in the future. But I believe that we live in the best time ever ever of course the 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 mindset is a little bit weaker uh, we're going into the direction uh where people are simply weaker and we will face more challenges because of this but i also believe that people are smart enough brave enough that we will solve all these problems but then we have such games like business investing sports betting where you need to come with your your own best masculine game possible and this is harsh truth and this is really brutal game where you need to take 100 percent responsibility for everything if you do this even if it even if something is not fair even yes you will lose games yes the the closer will uh uh, the closer will blown save uh, in ice hockey. They will uh, receive a goal in the last second. Uh, there will be a touchdown. They will. There will be a fumble in last second. You cannot control these things. Okay. You will still need to take the responsibility. And when you say, "Okay, I decided to play this game," no, I have the power. When you do this, you have two things. You have power, 
and you have the lesson. And once you have the power and once you have the lesson, then things start changing. And this is the last thing I will say today. Whatever you decide, I wish you good luck and see you next time.